Hello, everybody. John and Bella from hikelighter.com and on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash hikelighter. Over at patreon.com forward slash hikelighter if you'd like to support me. And twitter.com forward slash hikelighter. Instagram.com forward slash John Abella. So, wanted to show the gear that I will be taking on a upcoming hike. This will be a um, sub four pound gear setup. The total, uh, the total skin out weight minus food and water is 8.94 pounds. That includes the shoes, um, you know, which are close to two pounds, uh, the packs, um, water bottles, clothes that I will be wearing and all of that stuff. Uh, the consumables are 0 0.24 pounds. The gear that I will be wearing is 4.94 pounds. And the base weight is 3.76 pounds. And I have all of this in a lighterpack.com. And don't know if that's going to be viewable or not. Yeah, I apologize. I will have a link to this on my uh, video description. All right, so very quickly. We have uh, two pairs of shoes here. These are the Hoka 1-1 Speed Goats. This is the Mountain Laurel Design Core Backpack in DX Fabric. It is a 22 liter backpack. Up here we have a Z-Pax um, uh, tarp and ground cloth, ground sheet, bathtub, whatever you want to call it. Up in the middle at the very top we have the Ultimate Direction groove um, belt over there in the blue sea to summit is a mountain laurel design fkt quilt underneath it on the right we have a pair of mountain laurel designs um, uh, rain gloves rain mitts right underneath it is right here are the mont bell dynamo wind pants the white thing here is a uh, Gen 2 Z-Pax rain jacket. This is a, um, a, a, a PF, just a, a little sock for my foot. I have a bad foot. These are a pair of gloves right here. Are some possum down gloves. Black Rock gear. Uh, synthetic beanie. pair of um, wigwam socks. Um, my hat, a pair of Solomon shorts, a uh, hard water bottle with a hand strap on it, and I keep that usually on my hand at all times. Two road IDs, whistle with a neck keychain. This is um, a little compass on a necklace that I, I wear. Uh, it's um, from Hedgehog Leatherworks. I think it's discontinued. pair of um, calf. Calf sleeves, compression sleeves. My primary shirt is a um, Solumbra Bodywork uh, sun shirt. This is my um, toilet paper, which is uh, paper towels. This is a, uh, the blue thing here is a Mountain Hardware um, shirt that I wear as a, as a, as a next to skin. Uh, Sunto MC2 Global Compass, my maps for the hike, and a, um, a grid chart. Z-Pax Carbon Fiber Trekking Pole, another pair of wigwam socks so that I can swap them out. Uh, Kestrel TI Hiker Knife, uh, my ditty bag, my spoon, my um, toothbrush, my stove kit, which is just a little custom-made stove kit. Uh, my headlamp torch, Sawyer's, uh, Sawyer Mini, a head net, and the Climate Cush sleeping pad uh, pillow. And I believe, yep, that's everything. 
I'm going to uh, set up a table here and do a quick video of me putting all of it into the, the pack so that you can see how I pack this gear up. And again, it's not very much gear because the vast majority of it is gear that's being worn. All right. All right, so we have everything on here except for my shoes, the uh, Z-Pack staff, and my hand bottle. Uh, just toss them over on the side. They're not going in here anyway. So what I want to do is um, go ahead and load up the pack. And I have the shelter stuffed inside of the ground sheet or bathtub. And it goes in on the very bottom. Just like so. Then take the Mountain Laurel Designs sleeping quilt, uh, FKT quilt, stuff it in. I then take the Climate Crush, put about one good breath worth of air in it, fold it in half. And that gives me a little bit of stability, cushion, and that just goes right down inside on the, uh, the strap side, the front side. And then in goes my food on top. So uh, the straps are under here, this, the cushions on the bottom, what, what's now the bottom. Got my food bag here going to go straight in there and then the rest of this stuff basically just gets shoved down in there there's no reason or rhyme or uh, method of doing it other than you know trying to fill in the holes you can see I got a hole right there so we'll just take some stuff and shove it down into there the socks kind of stay on top And again, because there's just so little gear and so little weight, the rest of the stuff doesn't really matter which way it goes in. Obviously the maps stay up on top. Socks also stay up on top. Uh, they get switched out every hour or two. They just get, anytime I stop, I just switch them out. I do have two different types of socks. Um, I carry a lighter weight one and a heavier one. I usually start off in the morning with the heavier ones and then, you know, go to these ones. Uh, you know, as it gets a little bit warmer in the day and then from there on, it doesn't really matter. Button it up. I got about, I don't know, well, the, the entire uh, neck was just rolled down. So you can see I am pretty much I don't know, maybe an inch below where the shoulder straps are at. Got a good flat surface there because of the pad. And that's all there is to it. Uh, the gear that I wear is this. And by the way, I didn't show these earlier in the video. I forgot to pull them out. Uh, these are Solumbra sun gloves. They are... Um, fingerless sun gloves, and they just get tucked right down inside of the middle pocket of the Ultimate Direction uh, Groove uh, hip belt. So yeah, everything else here is, is just what I wear. My hat, my next to skin shirt, my outer shirt, compass is always around my neck, whistle is always around my neck, 
two road IDs are on my wrists, uh, my little backup compass, and the uh, Solomon shorts. And then if I need to during the day, I will pull out the Montbell wind pants. Uh, you'll notice that there wasn't a thermal layer in here anywhere, top thermal layer, and that's because I um, decided to save weight and go with the FKT quilt, which has the poncho cut in it. So my quilt becomes my thermal if it gets cold and I need something, you know, to keep my core body warm. And um, yeah, that's it. There will be a, um, a link to uh, the gear, all of the gear, and hope you guys enjoy this quick video. Thanks a bunch. If you have any questions, by all means, ask away.